C5 Insight is frequently asked if it makes more sense to deploy Microsoft Dynamics CRM in the cloud or on premise. While either approach can work, our recommendation is almost always to deploy in the cloud. In this video, we'll take a look at the reasons why deployment in the cloud generally makes more sense than deploying CRM on premise. The top two reasons we hear for staying on premise are either security or configurability. Let's take a closer look at both of these. We'll talk about security first. If you're a Fortune 500 company, then you have the resources to get your security about as tight as it would be with Microsoft. And even then, it's questionable. Every day we hear about large organizations from Target to the Pentagon being hacked. With that said, we still give an on-premise configuration a slight edge over the cloud for security. At least it gives you more direct control over the security settings. But in our experience, the security built into the cloud version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM exceeds on-premise versions over 99% of the time. Now let's talk about configurability. It's true, when you're using CRM on-premise, you have some direct access to the backend database, so you can do a few things a little more efficiently than if you're hosted by Microsoft. And whenever you do that, you're generally out of compliance. That means you're doing something that risks breaking the system and that won't be supported by Microsoft. You're also at greater risk of having more problems when you upgrade, which means you're going to be spending a lot of extra time and or money figuring out what went wrong and how to fix it. We recently began an engagement with a company that has done a lot of configuration by going around the best practices with their on-premise configuration. Their upgrade will likely cost them five times to 10 times more than if they had stayed online. Which brings us to some of the positives for going online. When you're online, you're more or less forced to comply with the best practices for customizing and configuring CRM. It's not perfect, you can still make mistakes, but you're far less likely to create issues that are expensive to correct and cause performance issues that are not only frustrating for users, but can lead to much lower adoption levels. Secondly, Microsoft releases many features online first, and some features will only work online. If you're on-premise, you're not going to have access to those features. And related to that, and perhaps more importantly, it's generally much easier to install third-party add-ons when you're using CRM in the cloud than if you're using it on-premise. That's because the infrastructure for CRM in the cloud is always consistent, whereas the internal infrastructure for hosting CRM on-premise is almost always unique from one organization to the next, causing complications that either cost more time or more money to fix, or that require more time from your internal IT team to resolve. And there are a lot of negatives to going on-premise. Installing and maintaining server software is a non-issue when in the cloud, but can be extremely time-consuming when on-premise. Configuring the ability for your users to access CRM outside of your firewall, what is called an Internet-Facing Deployment, or IFD, it's a must for most modern sales teams, and this too can consume more time. Your IT team will be on the hook for maintenance, including things like running regular backups and restoring them if needed. And you'll need to plan time and money for all the hardware and software upgrades that your servers are going to need to stay current. Is there a difference in cost? Well, that depends on a lot of things. Buying the licenses is about the same, but really depends on what you're already licensing and how you're licensing it. One thing is certain, it is far more complicated to understand and manage licenses for on-premise than it is for cloud-based CRM. Because of all the additional time required for installation and maintenance, it's generally more expensive in terms of human time, whether it's your own people or an outside vendor, to handle the setup and upgrades of CRM. One area where on-premise can cost less is if you never pay Microsoft for their software assurance. These are the annual fees that entitle you to software upgrades and support. Over a three to five year period, if you choose that option, it could potentially keep your costs down. But that also means you're not planning to upgrade to the latest version of the software. But the real costs are the opportunity costs. When you're on premise, it means much of what you're paying is for what we would call tactical IT support, 
just keeping the servers running. CRM processes have been proven to have a transformational role in businesses that invest in them as a strategy rather than as a technology. If your focus is on keeping the machines running, then you're much less likely to realize this benefit, and in fact, you're more likely to be one of the 30 to 60% of CRM projects that simply fail to deliver. Thank you for watching today. Did you know that between 30% and 60% of customer relationship management and employee collaboration projects fail? To learn how to avoid failure, how to recover, or other best practices in employee and customer engagement, check out C5 Insights' website, blogs, and our upcoming events. Thank you again.